of Star Wars in the near hand. It's an exclusive Kenner action figure. Han Solo disguised as a stormtrooper. Free with two fruits from Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. May the force be with you. Captain, we're out of Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Rex, but wait, but look, it's too damn sad. Star Wars prizes have always been a treat in breakfast cereals from the start of Star Wars merchandise. In 1978, kids can make cardboard ships or fly a Star Wars kite, hang up Star Wars bedroom posters, trade trading cards with their friends, stick stickers on the wall, and even save money on Kenner Star Wars toys. By 1984, kids got their own Star Wars cereal with C-3PO's, and with that, kids could have their own free Star Wars mask. But it would take almost 20 years for fans to get the free cereal prize we all dreamed of as kids. After 10 years with no new Star Wars figures, Kenner, now under Hasbro, relaunched the Star Wars action figure line with Power of the Force, not to be confused with the 1985 Power of the Force line. These were all new molds of Star Wars figures, some with a lot more muscles than the ones the kids grew up with. As the figures broke sales records at stores, Hasbro teamed up with Kellogg's to give kids a free Star Wars figure when they bought Fruit Loop cereal. Sadly, the figure was not packed inside. If it was, I'm sure every collector in 1995 would have had over a hundred of them. The free giveaway was the first of the new Hasbro Kenner figures that was all new, not a figure that was made during the Kenner run. It was one that fans and collectors had longed for, Han Solo and Stormtrooper outfit with removable helmet. In 1985, Kenner released a loose Skywalker and Stormtrooper outfit, but never released a Han Solo. Now, for the first time, fans could get their hands on a Han Solo Stormtrooper. All they had to do was cut out two proof of purchases from the Fruit Loop box. The offer was available on four different sizes of Fruit Loop cereal, meaning you could get the free figure at a lot different prices. To help make sure collectors didn't order hundreds to sell off at conventions and online, Kellogg's limited the figure to five per household. That, of course, didn't stop people from reselling the figure as it was being sold in toy ads for around $50 each. The figure would come inside a white Miller box. The figure inside would be packed in a clear plastic bag. The Han Solo Stormtrooper did not come with any weapon, but could hold the Stormtrooper rifle that came with the Star Wars figure already at stores. Overall, the figure was on par with the other released 1995 Star Wars figures. It, like the others, was a little too bulky, but Kenner didn't hold back and go cheap, as this figure was as good as the quality as the retail figures. Today, the figure can easily be found online, still sealed in the Mellor bag, for around $7. But the fun of this figure was never about resale value. For the first time in years, fans who grew up on the old Kenner toys, who were now in their 20s and ordering a free figure after hunting down a box of cereal, was having a little fun trip back to their childhood. Hasbro has done other mail-in figures since this one, but none have reached the fun and excitement of the 1995 Fruit Loops Han Solo Stormtrooper. Let me know in the comments below, did you send off for this Han Solo Stormtrooper? Did you check the mailbox every day until it showed up? Let me know that and more in the comments below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel, thumb up so I know you like my content, and we'll talk again soon.